What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have an unboxing video for you. Wine Series Edition, and I'm really sad because I just don't think this is gonna be, I'm not gonna be able to finish this tonight. How disappointing, I failed. I failed, I'm a failure. Anyways, in this video, we're gonna be unboxing the 2016 September Loot Gaming Box. If you're interested in getting this box, I'm gonna put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you get the tape and you open the box, this is what you're gonna see. This box is quite heavy for how small it is. How does it look? How does it look? Oh, it looks good. The first item we have is a Gears of War 4 item. This is a Mark II Lancer, whatever that is. Whoa. This is cool. This looks dangerous. What is this? I don't know. I don't know. So this is like a little replica like gun thing from Gears of War. And it came with all these stands, but I don't know how to work I don't know how to work the stands. I don't I don't know what to do. There's no instructions. The next item we have is from Dead Rising 4. It's a Capcom game. This is really heavy, whatever this thing is. This is like a pocket knife. It is a pocket knife. Ooh, it says Frank West on it. I don't know what that means, but I'm all for pocket knives. Anything that's useful is exciting to me. Look at that. Oh, I, I don't really have too many multi-use tools, so this is pretty cool. Oh, is this a flashlight? Oh, wow, cool. Oh, I like that. What else do we have in here? Let's see. We have... I never know how to get these things out. Well, it looks like there's a little knifey thing. Ooh! Ow! This is a flathead screwdriver. And then there's a, I don't know how we're supposed to get this thing out. There's a crosshead screwdriver, a nail, here's the nail file. Ow. It's a little bit sharp. And then something else, maybe like the knife part of it. I, st I just, I guess I just need more practice on how to work these things. But I like this item a lot. It's very useful. I enjoy that. All right, next we have this item. A lot of Loot Crate exclusives. This is from Battlezone. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, it's a shot glass. Oh, I love shot glasses. Oh, it's a two-pack of shot glasses. So this is from Battlezone. This is the first shot glass. If you were to read it far away, it says Battlezone on the, on the ground. Is it the same one? No, this one's a little bit different. I love how these are black, so you can't even see through them. I love shot glasses a lot, so I'm excited about these. I don't even know what they're from. They're from Battlezone, but I, just in general, I enjoy shot glasses, so I like that. Uh, the next one we have is Dark Souls Legends of the Flame, and this is a Loot Crate exclusive. This is a comic book. We have our Loot Gaming coin, and the theme was Battleground this month, September. We have this Loot Gaming poster, which also is um, the like what's in the box on the other side. I don't know what this is from, but this is the poster. But let's not look at this yet. Let's look at the shirt. The shirt is a Bethesda. Is that a Fallout shirt? Men's medium. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. That's what that sticker said. It's a blue shirt. Oh, this shirt's really long. It's like, it's like skinny, but it's super long. Whoa. Whoa. It's like, where's Waldo? This is a Fallout shirt because it has all, it has Vault Boy like a bajillion times on here. So it's pretty cool. Um, I don't mind, I wouldn't mind wearing this shirt. It's a very long shirt, which is odd. It just seems extra long, but that's a cool shirt for a Fallout shirt. Okay, let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap, shall we? We shall. The first item is the Dead Rising multi-tool, which is probably my favorite item in the box. And it comes with this cool little pouch. I would give this multi-tool uh, $10. That might be kind of expensive, but I I know multi-tools are expensive, and I like that. The Vault Boy shirt from Fallout is uh, $10. We're going to give it $10. The Dark Souls comic book, um, we'll give this... Well, I don't know. Comic books usually get four dollars. 
I guess we'll just give it four dollars to be nice. The loot pin coin thing is right here and I'm gonna go ahead and give that three dollars. The shot glasses, which I really enjoy, I really like the shot glasses a lot. Uh, I'll give that six dollars for the set. And then this replica gun thing that I, I don't, oh I see. Oh, it goes like this. Oh, got it. It's supposed to go like this. That's how the stand works. Uh, this is whatever. I'll give that four dollars. So according to my pricing, this box is worth $37. I paid $30 for it, so I got $7 extra value on top of what I paid for it, which is not great. I would have wanted at least 10, I think. But this actually wasn't that bad of a box. I surprisingly, again, I don't I don't know why I even have this box. I have no idea. But I like the shirt, I like the multi-tool, and I like the shot glasses. Actually, I liked everything except for this gun thing and then this comic book. But everything else I liked, which is nice. Um, if I had to rate this box, I would give this box a 3.75 out of 5 noobs. It would have gone higher if I would have liked all of the items and if it had a little bit more value. I wish I would have had at least $10 value. That would have been great. Alright guys, I think I'm done with this wine series. I'm like so tired. I just want to go to bed. I'm sorry this video is so short. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What was your favorite item? Did you think it was worth it? And yeah. And, and then uh, remember, if you subscribe to my channel, and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page. But I ran out of thank you to subscribers pages. I even updated it today, so I don't have any more. I should do like old school, but then they're in that drawer down there and I'm just too lazy to get them. So there's no thank you to subscribers pages. So subscribe if you haven't already so that I can put you onto my thank you to subscribers page, okay? Okay. All right, guys. I guess uh, have a great night and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Uh...